<laughs> Hello everyone, Steven again. Uh, today this video is going to address the item which people are calling Kuroro Kagi. Now what's very interesting here is um, allegedly it looks as if it says Kuroro Kagi in the text. This is from the internet. But uh, and this also appears in Bunsen Shukai shortly. Now the thing is what is being called Kuroro Kagi is actually more correctly pronounced Kura no Kage. Kura, K U R A, no, N O, Kagi. K A G I, not Kage, like shadow, but Kagi, Ki. Kura no Kagi means the key to the storehouse, or the warehouse, so, you know, where you store your items, okay? And if you, uh, quick Japanese historical lesson. Storehouses are like giant boxes with huge doors in front. They're double doors. First, there is two huge swinging doors. Once you get through those, then there is a sliding door. Okay? So, Shinobi wants to get into the Kura, has to either find a weak point to break through a wall, which is uh, go through a window if it has one, or actually pick the lock. You have to pick the front door open, and then pick the sliding door. Depending on the circumstances, the huge doors might already be open since they're fairly heavy, and the sliding door is all that has to be picked. Okay. Now here's the thing. Also, the the kura, the storehouse, is uh, like usually has fireproof material. Okay, because as we know, a lot of Japanese architecture is actually very flammable. Like for example, a lot of the walls, like castle walls, barricades, are actually like straw with materials on the outside like they a lot of the times they're not fully like thick stone they're filled with straw so you can literally drill through the sort of outside layer and set the damn um barricade the fence on fire okay so uh and almost everything is built in wood okay so the the kura has a kind of a fireproof coating on it okay this is because like that they really don't want that to burn down okay so uh, the shinobi essentially, then what he, uh, he or she, uh, usually, usually he, let's be honest, uh, no offense in the sexist, but in, in the historical aspect, it's 99.99% of the time going to be a guy, or history. Um, what the shinobi is going to do is then he essentially has got to come through a window or pit or go through the door. Um, this is assuming he is any, like he's not yoni sneaking in, uh, you know, by pretending to be like he's supposed to be there. But this actually in the cover of night, the inning has to sneak in. Okay? So, um, this is what the Kuro, the Kuro Kagi, or actually the Kura no Kagi, is for. Now, <laughs> here's where a lot of people are mistaken. I, and I got on Anthony, I told him, when you make this Ninkuden, please put a note in there. This is the Kuro no kagi, the kuro kagi is not a lock breaker. The kura no kagi is, in fact, the actual standard key for the door. It, for and I'm gonna put pictures and stuff here to show you. Uh, I'll put a, a clip from the Nimpiden and I'll show you a picture of a real life kuro no kagi. Essentially, uh, there is a hole in the door with an iron plate around it with a tiny little hole. You stick the kuro, it, it looks like an L, you stick it through the hole, and then you use it to manipulate lat, uh, okay, without getting technical, because this actually, I'm not going to go into the technical words and everything, but essentially you're going to manipulate the locking mechanism on the other side of the door, um, with the, with the kuro no kagi, okay? It's used to lock it, it's used to unlock it. Now, remember the video where I picked the lock, okay? Here's usually the setup. The, the at near the bottom of the door is the opening. You put the kuro no kagi in. And you use it to manipulate the locking mechanism. I won't go into that in this video. Then you go to slide the door open, but it, it won't open because there's one of those locks, like I picked in the previous video, is also holding the door open. So Shinobi has to bring a kuro no kagi. Now here's the thing: the kuro no kagi, kuro no kagi, on the handle usually has a string, a loop. And on there is key. Okay, like that's what the regular one, like the guard would have. He'd have the right size one with the right key. So if he'd use it, 
on the bottom of the door to open the door, and then he'd take the key from the little ring, and he'd unlock the lock, open the door. Shinobi doesn't have that. What Shinobi would do is, therefore, that's why in an infinite says, uh, bring these of many sizes. So you need about three or four of various sizes. The reason is there's not a whole lot of variation within the sizes of the Kuro Kagi. Okay? It's not a lock breaker. It's not a lock pick. It's the actual key. So what you have to have is just have a couple of different versions of it, and one of them should work on the bottom part of the door. So when you open the bottom part of the door, then you got to do like I did and use this special, you know, shape tool to pick the lock. You you use Okura no Kage to open the door standard. Okay? Then you use your special ninja skills to open, to actually pick the lock. So the Okura no Kage is the regular key. Not a special tool. It's just a regular key. But because there's very little variation in the in the sizes, you just need about three or four different size ones and one of them should work. Because it's essentially like a bar that goes around and, man and grab and manipulate something. Okay? Uh, the real sort of like thievery ninja thing is when you pick the lock, right? Because you don't have the key for the lock. You have to then use the little metal shims and, and pick the lock, okay? All right, so therefore, everybody who's been saying that Kuroro Kage, Kuro no Kage is a lock breaker or lock pick does not know what they are talking about. They clearly have never been shown, have no idea what a historical Japanese locks on door locks uh, look like or what the keys look like. For example, there are clans and there are merchant guilds and stuff that use the Kuraro Kage as their mon, as their kamon, as their family crest. It's like, it, it, it's like stylized. It goes like, it makes like a square. The handle and then the bar goes around in the square. These are like good luck charms. Okay, because it's a key. It's a kage. It's a storehouse key. If you have a storehouse, then you are wealthy. And so oftentimes there's little amulets that have like two crisscross kuro no kage as a good luck charm, as like a wealth charm. Okay? It is a key. It is not a lock breaker. It is not a lock picker. It is the standard key for the storehouse. Shinobi would need a couple of different ones, one of the right size to unlock the bottom of the door. Then he'd have to use his lock picking skills on the lock that is higher up on the door. Take care.